Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we are going to be taking a look at a couple of different ways to get your own profile into Kira. So whether you've downloaded one, had one sent to you, or recommended by a friend, or found one on a Facebook page or something like that, we'll show you how to get that file into the proper place so that you can utilize it with Kira. And we're going to show you how to do that right now. Hey folks, Technivorous here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but stick around because today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting stuff I don't think you're going to want to miss. Before we get started here, let me point out that I do have several profiles available. This is the website they're located at. It's github.com slash vanathrain slash Kira Profiles. I'll put a link to that down below. All you need to do is select the profile you want. In this case, I'm updating mine for the Ender 3 V2. You'll click it. You'll hit download and it'll go to your downloads folder. Once you have that done, this process is super simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here under profile with Kira open and we're going to click manage profiles. Uh, you can see that it shows me the four default profiles here. It also says create profile from current settings and overrides. So if I wanted to adjust each and every one of these settings to where I knew it went, I could click create profile. And it would allow me to name the profile and I could use that profile from here on out. I'm going to hit cancel though. Now that we have this open, let's go ahead and I can either create one fresh here or I can click import. This is what we're looking for today. We're going to hit import, click the Ender 3 V2 profile or whatever profile you want to bring in and just click open. It's a pretty simple process. It brings it in right away. And you can see I now have a custom profiles option with Ender 3 V2 underneath it. Now, if I wanted to make some adjustments to this and change it, I could either rename it or I could duplicate it, make some adjustments, and then rename it. If I have a profile that works really well and the way that I get my profiles out to that GitHub page is by selecting it, and you can't do that with the default, but with the custom ones you can, you select it and hit export, and that'll give you a Kira profile that you can share with other people. So now that I have the profile imported, all I have to do is go over here and select it and it's asking me if I want to keep or discard the changes. Since I'm loading a whole new profile and I want to start with that profile in all of its settings instead of replacing them with stuff that's already in here, I'm going to click discard changes because that'll reset everything to the base for the profile that I'm using. So now I am running the Ender 3 V2 profile. All of my settings are set exactly as they are in that profile and we can make slight changes if we need to, but we're pretty much ready to print. So pretty simple and straightforward, guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please leave a like down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be sure to drop me a question in the comments. That's where this video came from. Gentleman was having a hard time importing his profile, so I decided it'd be easier just to make a video than to text back and forth in the comments. So um, I'm always willing to try and show you something that you don't know if I happen to know how to do it. And if not, uh, I like to learn myself. So. Definitely, definitely leave me comments about what you'd like to see and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.